firm like if you want to work with any of the cloud provider or if you want to work matlab if you want to create any infrastructure because you have to first know the provider and if you don't know like which provider you want to work on you can just search for dara firm providers and there is a long list to of providers you can work with dara firm on aws on azure gcp kubernetes alibaba everything there, are, there is a long list containing like 200 2306 providers so for now we are going to learn uh, creating resources on on aws so we will be using the aws provider and if you want to work with any of the provider you have to click on this button here use provider and you can copy any of this so i'm going to copy this block here and i'm going to paste here i have to create a file in terraform every file that should create resources should end with .tf so i'm going to name this main .tf and i'm going to paste my provider here you can pass in extra parameters if you want let's say if you want to pass in the region name you can pass in here and the region name is going to be Uh, anything like us east one or west one less two so i'm going to use the us east one and if you're not sure which one is the right name you can always go and sign up for to your account you can get the so this this is the region that we are going to work on us east one and i have uh, put that in the provider block now if you want to now we have given the provider let's open the terminal and the first command that we are going to learn is the terraform init command terraform init is the first command that, that you want to run any time you are working with terraform if you are if you are creating a terraform code still you have to run the terraform init if you are cloning the code from github or gitlab you have to run this command so this command is going to download all the files necessary for this provider to run so if i do terraform init you can see that it has initialized now and let's go and create a resource so let's say i want to create a resource which is going to be aws im user so there are after resource you have to pass in like what are you going to create and you need to know the name so if you are not sure like what is the name you can just go and write aws im user and terraform it will open the first link would be for the uh, terraform official documentation itself so here you can directly get the code if you want and like like this like this is the resource for im user and its name is load balancer this is the path and you can either choose any of them like or else you can ch copy this and change according to your according to your need so now let's let's not complicate stuff and create the instance first and then we are going to learn how to create user and groups or uh, policies right so i'm going to search for aws underscore instance and you can see that this is the So let's say I copied this, and I have to pass in the name like here. So I have to pass in the resource that I'm going to create, which is AWS instance. Then you have to give the name to this resource. Then this this name which I'm going to give now, let's say my instance, is not which we will be seeing in the con in the console, but this is for the reference of Terraform itself in the code. you will get to know what i'm talking about and now you have to enter the parameters so if you're not sure which parameters are uh, optional or not you can after after every resource documentation there's an argument reference which says like this is optional this is not and you can refer to them if you want but with practice you'll get to know what like what is important and what is not right so now i have to put in the ami id and the ami id for each account is different and for each region is also it's also different so you have to take your own ami id and to get the ami id like i can go here and i can scroll down here are the amis or amazon machine image and each os has their own ami id like amazon linux has this ami id ubuntu has this ami id so let's say i want to create an ubuntu instance so i can copy this ami id here and so did you get a, did you get the instance code from the documentation online yes if you don't know like how, what are the document or what are the arguments you can refer to the documentation but once you have practiced once you know everything then you can like uh, you know what is next like after instance i have to put in the ami then instance type then key pair if i'm going to use the key pair security groups if i want to right so now i'm going to put the instance what, type so what what do i type in on sorry in online in terraform registry to get the resource so like, aws 
let's say you're creating okay. instance you just need to type in aws ec2 or instance anything in just terraform this this thing if you type the first link is always going to be registered at terraform.io and this is the official documentation by terraform itself and they have the documentation very neat so you can easily understand whatever is there so for now like they have different like basic example using ami lookup so this is the data pro data uh, data block which is kind of uh, advanced for now so we are just going to scroll down and get the block that is creating an instance so here this is the instance which is named as foo has this ami id the instance type is this and now we are going to put the instance type at let's say if i want to create a t2 micro i can put t2 micro if i want to create c5 large like there are different instance type in ec2s uh, so whatever you want you can just write it in the code okay so this is going to if i save this code i have to save every time i want to like create a resource you can either go from here or you drew control s so now i have the code written if i want to check if everything is correct or not like validate uh, if i want to check if the syntax is correct or not i can check that as well so if i do terraform validate it will show me that missing required provider this configuration requires so we have already run terraform in it but still it is showing us error so now it is going to find the latest version of hashicorp slash aws install the files required for this code to run with this provider and once this is done it will show that it has been initialized and we can then start working with terraform so this is the first command that you need to know even if you know git like this says that terraform has been successfully initialized if you know git uh, git uh, git technology even like when working with git the first command is git init same for terraform the first command is terraform init now i can check if my code is correct or not so if i do terraform validate and if the syntax is correct it will show me that the configuration is valid now i can the third command is going to be terraform plan this command will check your code and will see what is defined in the code like this code is telling terraform to create an instance which should be this ami and this instance type so if i do terraform plan i should get what is going to be created so if i run enter now and it will give me the plan it will say that one resource is going to be created so if you can see there it says that one needs to be added zero to be changed and zero to destroy so if i scroll up so it says that aws instance which is dot my instance will be created which has this id and which has this this is the instance type right so i have not entered any security group i have not entered any key pair which means the security group the default one will be attached and the, now that we have not entered any key pair we cannot ssh into it right so now we got the plan like what uh, what is going to be created if you are sure that i want this to be created you can run terraform apply and when you run terraform apply it will give you a plan once and ask you if you are sure or not if you are sure you can type in yes so it will prompt you to type in yes if you are sure with the configuration of the resource that is going to be created so do you want to perform these actions if you are okay you can type in yes anything other than yes can like uh, apply cancelled right and if you don't want to type in yes all the time there is another argument that you can pass like hyphen auto hyphen approve this is going to create without asking you any to enter any value so now it is going to start creating and you can see that aws instance dot my instance is creating now and within few seconds it will start creating so let me show you the console first that there's no instance right now so it's still uh, creating and after every 10 seconds it will give you a message like it's still creating still creating and once it is created you'll get a green color uh, message like it has been successfully created and if you can see here now it is in pending state which means it has started creating and this is the same instance so I'll, we will get the instance id as well once it is created so you can see that instance has created after 45 seconds and the id is this one o a b d d b which is same as o a b d d b d right so this is the basics of terraform like and if you see here earlier we only created the main.tf right but once we have done terraform plan there is a file name as tf state this tf state is recording everything that changes are done in the terraform code let's say if i make a change from t2 micro i want to cha change this to t2 nano so everything is going to be recorded in the state file dot tf state file 
right yeah. and you should never touch this file you should never edit them because this is edited automatically when you run the commands so you should only touch or edit files that ends with .tf and this ter this is the terraform log.hcl which keeps which logs the tf state file so for example let's say you have a code written in terraform for creating infrastructure on aws and you have pushed this code on s3 bucket for other developers all around the world to work on it right so every time you run terraform apply or you run terraform st uh, plan a state file is going to be generated right so there can be a scenario where a lot of developers when working on the same code can run terraform apply or terraform plan at the same time which can disrupt the state so when you use the lock it will lock the state when someone is working on it and it will not allow anyone else to work on it so this is for like uh, not to make mess with the state file we have to lock it and this uh, this folder that you see here will contain the information about the provider so you can see there's a uh, there's a file name as provider which is in binary so that's of no use but when you run terraform init this folder is going to be created when you run terraform plan and apply this state file is going to be generated right and okay, cool. things that you create with terraform should also be edited or deleted through terraform itself so let's say i created this with terraform i should not go here and delete this from my console i should do it only through terraform right so now if i if you can see that earlier it was terraform uh, it was t2 micro now if i ch save this and i run terraform plan you should see that one is going to be changed it will say like one is going to be changed and this is going to change from t2 micro to t2 nano so here you can see that one is to be changed and if i run terraform apply it will like create another instance which is which is t2 nano and not t2 micro so this is the basics of like uh, terraform you have learned the commands terraform plan terraform init terraform apply so and terraform validate as well like validate is just to check if your code is correct or not if you have any errors or not because you write this terraform code in yaml and if you make any error in this indentation you'll get an error like you can check from here as well or else if you want to like there's an there's a website which you can use like can yaml use validator if you search for yaml validator and if i go if i type in yes it says like it is valid yaml so there's no syntax error in my code or else you can do it like from okay. terraform validate as well